Hey, Peter Zierbreski here with HSN Transport uh, with an update on the Baltimore Key Bridge uh, collapse. Uh, yesterday, the NTSB released a uh, preliminary timeline based on the DALI's Voyage data recorder. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken some of the key timelines from that timeline and then synced it up with the uh, ship's track coming off the dock and the webcam video so we can see exactly when some of these uh, things were occurring. Uh, there are some sync issues between everything just because of differing frame rates and the like, uh, so I'm not actually showing the times on either the video or the track, uh, but there is five to ten seconds of wiggle room between them just to be aware of. Uh, but all the time points uh, listed are actually from the NTSB transcript, so those are correct, and I tried to line them up with what the uh, video is showing as best I can. So at 12.40 a.m., uh, the DALI comes off the dock at the Seagrip Marine Terminal, uh, outbound for Colombo, Sri Lanka. Uh, the ship is rated at 9,600 TEU. It's loaded with 4,679 containers, uh, 56 of which are considered hazmat. Uh, hazmat containers are typically stored at the bow, uh, and the NTSB has confirmed that some of those hazmat containers have been breached. Uh, by 107, the ship has heading towards the bridge in the Fort McHenry uh, channel and the tugs have been released. I'm going to let the following pieces play out in time. You'll see the events from the VDR pop up on text and I'll add some narration where required. So this is where the webcam video starts. You can see we've superimposed it over the uh, ship's track, and you'll see the dolly just enter the frame on the left side. You can see the secret marine terminal where the dolly departed from, uh, just under the center span of the bridge. Uh, from the ship's track, it did a U-turn uh, after coming off the dock to enter the main uh, Fort McHenry channel. At 1.24.33 in the morning, Dally loses power for the first time. The Voyage Data Recorder stops recording ship performance data. Uh, the recorder, besides audio recording, which continued, will record rudder angle, ship's RPM, course, speed, other data such as that.
We can see some power is regained. Uh, some lighting has returned to the ship. However, the forward uh, masthead light is uh, still out. Uh, and it doesn't look like the ship has full power at this point. Probably suggesting that an emergency generator is kicked in. At this point, the uh, Voyage Data Recorder starts re-recording uh, vessel data again. Uh, from the track, you can see that the ship begins to uh, change course, uh, which seems to correspond with some uh, steering and uh, rudder command issued by the pilot on board the bridge. The ship loses power again, and the pilot requests tugs. Port order. The pilot orders that the port anchor to be dropped. Ship again regains some more power. And the pilot sends out a radio call indicating that they've lost power and are heading towards the bridge. This gets picked up by Maryland Transportation Authorities who then order that the bridge to be shut down. You can see at this point there are still vehicles on the bridge. The blinking lights are the construction crew that fell into the harbor. 127.53, police start to shut down the bridge. about a minute and a half between when the bridge is ordered to be shut down and Dally makes contact with the bridge. Finally reporting to the USCG that the bridge was down. Of the eight-person construction crew that was still on the bridge, uh, two survivors were pulled out of the water almost immediately, and uh, as of today, two of the remaining six have been recovered. Our thoughts are with the families. If you like this video please subscribe to the channel uh, we'll continue our coverage of this story and its impacts uh, in the days and weeks ahead thanks for watching